Hey, what's up? I hope everyone is doing well. So today we will be playing Witcher 3 next gen update on 1660 Super and I will be showing you uh, the best settings for the best performance while retaining the best visuals for Witcher 3 next gen update. Alright, so let's get into the first settings I always turn on for all the games I play. So, in NVIDIA control panel, I always uh, limit the max frame rate. Here I have one six, I've set it to 162 FPS. So what we have to do over, over here is we have to set it to three frame three F, uh, three value lower than your uh, monitor's refresh rate. So my monitor's refresh rate is 165 hertz. So I have set it to 165 minus 3, 162 FPS. And I I saw this information on Mythbusters website. I will drop a link below to that uh, website. <laughs> you can read it in depth. All right. Plus the Nvidia control panel we sync on. So these two settings in NVIDIA control panel, uh, it helps to you know get smooth a smoother gameplay. All right, and now let's get into Witcher Three. Let me turn the volume lower. much as this much should be fine all right so in graphic setting I have sharpening set to low and reason for that I mean it's just uh, for it works for me so uh, extreme sharpening makes graphics look more super crispy super sharp and it kind of, it kind of looks less realistic and less blended more more like um into the face kind of it looks like more i don't know more super well defined and i don't like it so of course you can set it to the your desired value but the lower setting works for me it, the lower setting looks more blended more natural so here I have motion blur on as well. I like motion blur. You can turn it off as most do. Chromatic aberration and vignette off since I like more clear picture. Shadow quality set to medium because shadow in almost all games is super demanding. And medium shadows, I like medium more than extreme shadows because medium shadows look more realistic same reason as well more realistic because it is it kind of looks more blended less less well defined looks more realistic if that makes sense i mean set it to extreme and you will get the you know super well defined shadows and that doesn't look really realistic plus it is more demanding so that's just my opinion and foliage in an uh, other youtube video i saw that foliage is a big culprit in next gen update and it was causing stuttering i experienced it as well so i can um, yes it causes stuttering so uh, the medium setting gives more stable gameplay so that's why i've set it to medium because every single extreme so here we have most settings set to extreme and few settings set to medium or low it's kind of uh, ultra high high type settings in display we have display mode full screen in game we sync on as well 
as per the Mythbusters website as I told you and it works for me that's why I'll set it to on frame rates unlimited resolution 1920 all right so let's start the game and OBS might cause uh, the game to produce less FPS and it may cause even stuttering and I've experienced it while recording other gameplays as well alright I don't think we are lacking anything in terms of graphics the only thing we lack is RTX <laughs> Ray tracing since our 1660 Super does, does not have RTX, so we will definitely miss the ray tracing. I mean, if you have watched uh, uh, the ray tracing on and off comparison online uh, in next gen update, you might be able to see there is an absolute difference with uh, RTX on and off. So we are definitely missing that. The RTS makes this game look more realistic, even more. And another thing I wanted to say is, I don't know if you felt that as well, uh, but uh, in the original Witcher 3 game, I felt like, uh, the game looked more tiny not uh, in terms of map but I mean in terms of the third person perspective the, uh, the surroundings looked more kind of tiny I mean the houses the trees and the surroundings in totality I mean everything kind of looked uh, smaller but in this next gen update they have so, rectified it I like the new third person camera it's more closer to the protagonist and it kind of makes things look the surroundings look bigger it looks more immersive all right so here in, in the village we have uh, the FPS dropped but it is playable but I think it is better with uh, OBS off okay so we will be free roaming We'll be free roaming and we'll be seeing if the FPS drops occur in any other section as well. Game looks nice and it is playable, so I don't think. Um, the 1660 Super is um, you know uh, making us uh, feel anything less it is still working nice so the card is still powerful you just have to use the custom settings Set the things you don't want to low to lower settings and the card will the card might still be able to um, fetch you some nice FPS in new games as well. Yeah, but the in the new Plague Tale game the card really struggled. <laughs> But I, I, uh, I did not play the game, but yeah, I tested it, so 
it it was really struggling in that game but i don't know how how uh, the developers you know do it because i don't think the the new plague tale has really you know super um, over the top graphics and it was you know it was still making the card struggle a lot even providing the same kind of uh, graphics all right Whoa. So yeah, I don't know how does this thing work. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, Red Dead Redemption providing a lot better graphics runs a lot better. So I I don't technically know how does that thing work, but yeah. So few games even looking even while uh, looking better provides better performance on whereas on the other hand f um, some games uh, might not look s that good and they would still be more demanding i don't know how does that work but that is a thing so i think the game works fine in these settings and and in terms of graphics i don't think we are lacking anywhere we're still getting nice graphics nice frames game is playable so yeah 1660 super gang going strong all right guys we'll see you in another video good night